people did used to listen to radios in India as well. So once that data limitation and data cap is gone, then people will be listening to podcasts as well. And uh, I'm here to wait. It's fine. I Meanwhile, I'm working on my second book already. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. Like, I'm not dependent on the career of social media. And that is why it gives me freedom. And that is something you should learn as well. Like, you should not be dependent on a single career ever. Then you will have an obligation to do things that you're told to, which is not always beneficial for your growth. Right? Yeah. But that's very tricky, right? So yeah. When, uh, like, if you're in the starting stage in the building process, uh, they usually say you should have a standard uh, to rely upon and then you should work on yeah. something and then you... So yeah, it so takes time to build. You have some rules kind of thing to say like, okay, okay, like this is finance safety things that you have to have in your career starting. Yeah, uh, see, the way that you secure your career is that, yeah, it is easy to say that you should have multiple careers, but uh, the way that you build it is not tricky, but difficult. Like I said the most important things are not very, dif are not very complicated. It's just difficult. It's very simple. And it's as simple as just one third of your life concept. Like one third of your life decides where you're going. So one third of your life goes to sleeping, right? Or, or eating or doing whatever general activities that you cannot avoid. One third of your life goes to your job or your college, whatever is required to sustain your life that we all invest. And then the rest one third decides the growth, where you are going to go. It's a very simple concept. If this one third of your life has zero growth, zero saving, then you are going to travel zero forward towards where you want to go this one third should be invested towards where you want your life to go i said this is the most important one third as well like a lot of people say that eat the frog first or do the most difficult task early in the morning but it's actually the opposite of what i did like the first thing that i would do after waking up is work on this book for the past five years and that's what i do right now as well if i see myself as a writer in 10 years then that's the first thing that i'm going to do the problem is that it does not come with any instant reward right it took me like five years and now finally it is out and people are buying it people are reading it but through those five years there's no reward no appreciation nothing so that's where it becomes like difficult not complicated still very simple that it's very simple, simple math. If that one third is having zero focus towards your growth, your growth will be zero, very simple. But it is difficult to execute because you never prioritize, prioritize that. You prioritize things that are going to instantly give you some gratification. Someone is going to give you a pat on the back. So you already know where you want your life to go. It can be as simple as there was a girl in Delhi seminar who said that she wants to make a living out, out of making paintings. Very simple, right? But she's having a job right now. So it's not very complicated. She needs to do painting the time which most people just waste on uh, just Netflix or talking or chatting to people and just talking about things that are not going to help. Some people spend that time on hating on others too. Just invest that in your growth. Simple as that. All she needs to do is utilize her vacations and Saturdays and Sundays and after hours or before your office towards what you want to build in your life. And that will accumulate over time. It's, it's actually a very safe route because it can, it can be added continuously. It's not like either you're going to make it or you're not going to make it. For example, cracking competitive examination, either one day you're going to crack that or it's again and next time also either you're going to crack it or not. Competitive examinations are a game of zero and one. And a lot of things in this world work like that. But this thing gradually, consistently working towards something just keeps on building. For example, right now, I have so many skills. Example, skill in video production, writing, engineering. A lot of people might not know like martial arts and physical fitness and these things. Like I kept on working, right? Uh, I could have easily left martial art when I entered college and everybody would be saying now I don't get time right so many people say that I don't get time with my work with my college now it's very simple don't look for results put that time continuously and it will stay with you the concept I don't like 
is an exchange. Oh, right now I'm focusing on career, so I cannot pay attention towards relationship. Or oh, right now I'm focusing on my uh, examination, so I cannot take care of my diet or health or workout. So you're sacrificing, right? I've seen this a lot in Delhi PGs, that in one year of competitive examination preparation, the guy is completely changed. The weight is added or lost, the hair is white now, the complete person is changed. Now, even if you crack competitive examination, you lost something much more valuable, that is your health. And I don't think that is a worthy exchange. So you have to keep on working on almost everything consistently, continuously, without any reward. It's a very thankless job, but you have to do it. In a similar manner, like uh, when I look at my podcast, it's something that I've been doing since 2020, right? I never like stopped even for a month. You have been seeing one podcast or the other coming up most of the time, one every week. And most of the time, they're not like celebrity level, not very popular, but I'm building a library, right? And over time, when I've reached thousands and thousands of podcasts, not all of them are very popular, but all the podcasts are very interesting. That's the thing. That's the library that you have built. And that's something that took a lot of time and patience. So this is what everybody should adapt. Like patience, uh, being ready to put work consistently without any rewards and and you all know what you what you want to do it can be as simple as like making music or just uh, one guy was saying in chennai seminar he wants to make vlogs it can be writing there was a guy in another seminar who says that he he does poetry and he does not know how to put it out and i said you already do know all you need to do is invest some time on a regular basis there are so many people you must have seen that they used to do something very well. They used to play soccer very well, play guitar very well. And after one year or two years of job or college, they have completely lost it. And they now sold their guitar or something, right? That happens so many times. So you cannot do that exchange because that could have been built to something very big. You just have to be patient. Most of you guys are so young and you have like rest of your life to keep on building, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs>